Hello and welcome to NAB Las Vegas 2018 in North Hall for Digital Production TV. My name is Prinyal Boone. I am the product manager of Fabrics from the UK and I'd like to welcome you to our, to our booth here. So what's new at the show? We are showing um, the latest developments in um, HDR monitoring and uh, with support for now PQHLG and new for the show is um, S-Log3 and S-Log3 Live in the, in the QX. Uh, we have a range of uh, HDR test patterns as well to go with the product to help both live production and also for uh, developers of SDR to HDR converters and also HDR to HDR conversion as well, which is all necessary for the, for the next generation of uh, live broadcasts that are uh, being, being used. We use this product many times on experimental shoots around Europe and the uh, we're continuing to innovate uh, with our partners as we learn from the, the, from the complex workflows that um, HDR is, uh, brings. What we also have as well here is also new for the show, which is um, 12 gig advanced SDI stress generation. Uh, what you're seeing on this is uh, uh, we're injecting sine wave jitter into the, into the system, and you can see that being imposed on the, on, on the eye in real time. You can see that it's here. If I, if I wiggle this BNC, you can see the response time on the, the device is, is very, very low. And this is what you get with the sprung-loaded BNC. And this sh shows you kind of the limits that you have with the BNC connectors that we use in the industry today. We also have the capability of what's called bit error rate testing with PRBS generation and, and analysis. And we have the ability also to change the amplitude of the eye on the, on the product here. So we can change under either manual control or remote automation control the eye. So this allows people to, for the first time, actually test their 12 gig interfaces to the level that you'd expect in high def interfaces to be tested in the, in the, in the past. So this is uh, Phil Adams, the, the, the CEO and owner, uh, owner of the company here. Um, so the, uh, what we also have is, is new for the show is the world's first handheld IP-enabled uh, product. This is the um, IP tag with 22-6. This is shipping with an Embryonics SFP. We work very closely with our partners to do the integration. And what we have here, in fact, is that um, uh, we've got an SDI source coming in. And on this product, we have 22-6 coming out over the IP interface here. So this is also acting as a SDI to IP encapsulated gateway in a handheld device. You also have all of the um, classic uh, test and measurement um, waveforms that you have that you'd expect to see on the, in, a, in an instrument. And so they still work in conjunction with the SDI and the IEP inputs. And on the, on the converse side, we have the decapsulator. So this is 20-6 input, and we have an SDI output as well. And again, you can see, in fact, here's a, the waveform of the, uh, the, the test pattern coming in. So this allows you to, uh, you can generate an SDI output as well as analyzing an IP input here, check out your lines, and then connect the two together afterwards. So it's a it's a very useful feature in order to be able to. As part of the Embryonics SFPs, is in-band control of these devices. So we're now connected via this Arista switch, which has been loaned to us. And we're talking to the Embryonics via the, the, the fiber to those devices themselves. And you can see we have four tags on the, on the, in, the, in the system. Two of them running 22-6, and two of them running 21-10. So this side of the booth is running 21-10 with PTP lock. So we have a, a PTP Grandmaster here from Mentor Trilogy. Yep. Sorry, Clearcom Trilogy, it's a Mentor, Mentor SPG. And this is sending out PTP traffic through the Arista switch and these, these devices down here are subscribing to that service and they're locking to that in-band master reference which is coming down these fibers. 
what you get out of these devices is quite sophisticated. So if you look at the, um, you can dial into the embryonics here and look at the number of flows that are available on these tiny devices. So you have up to you know, two videos, up to 16 audios and two ancillary flows. So that's main and backup flows in, in 22-7. All running on this tiny SFP that fits into the back of the unit. You can also inspect, this is a very techy demo now, um, the, the status of the, the clock locking here. This says status 03, which in indicates that, that they have successful PTP lock. And then what we're also showing um, in our, again, news for the show, is that we're sending PTP to this device and this is generating what's called a one pulse per second output on the back. And we're bringing that to our oscilloscope here. And we're comparing the black and bursts from the Clearcom Mentor Master SPG with the one PPS that we're deriving from the PTP that's been sent to this and showing that we have frequency lock and phase lock between the output of this box and the reference source. So that shows, in fact, that the experimental software in the in the Clearcom Mentor is working. It's generating PTP that's locked to its own black and burst. And we can also recover that successfully with very, very low jitter on the output side as well. We're also showing here interpacket jitter arrival times of traffic that's gone through the switch and has been brought back to this device running live. And you can see, in fact, we've got some early packets coming through, which are being sent. We probably sent from the, the end of frame there. That's indicative of the, the, the live traffic you get. So the, what else as well, you can get dynamic updates of the, um, of the, of the traffic from this uh, IP address. And also here's the information on the Grandmaster, so that's a, its a domain there. Um, and also the fact that this is set to priority 128, as it's called in the, in the, in the, in the jargon of, of, of PTP Grandmasters. Hi, this is Prince saying goodbye now from NAB 2018 and my thanks to Digital Production TV for the opportunity to share with you what we're showing at the show here today.